hello from the Connecticut cocoon. I just wanted you to come along for my spring cocoon journey today. I'll be doing page two of our spring cocooning creativity guide that Lori and I have made especially for you. Uh, I got this inspiration from kind of feeling through a lot of intentions that were bubbling up, but also just finding in my own home in my Connecticut cocoon, these beautiful vines that are climbing up the trees and this relationship the two have together, the ivy and the bold trees, how they work together and connect together. And something about that um, in nature really helped me tap into my spring cocoon this season. So come along for the journey. You'll see me getting my art supplies and I'm doing a lot of vocal play while I'm creating my spring cocoon. And for those of you who don't know, vocal play is just using our voice to go beyond words before we even learn words to give something a sound so we can connect with the world around us and with ourselves. And it's a beautiful way to release energy and tap into something. It could be nature. It could be an emotion. Uh, today it's going to be my spring cocoon. And so you'll see me just playing around with my voice and having fun. And it can be anything from a hum to a tune. Maybe it's a special song that comes in. Uh, it could be an animal sound even. Really it's tapping into our intuitive selves and our inner child within. And if you want to do the second page of our spring cocooning creativity guide along with me, uh, go ahead. I would love that. And I'd love to hear how it went for you and what kind of intentions you're going to be creating for this season. Hello, cocooners. I'm so excited to share with you uh, getting ready for my spring cocoon. It's something I've really been needing the last couple weeks since spring started. So here's my cocoon and I'm just gonna get all my supplies ready. I have some markers, I have some intentions uh, that will come up and we'll see what else comes up. So let's get to it. All right, here we go. I've got the sun beating on me in my little sacred space. My cocoon within a cocoon. Busting out the colored pencils. And I just want to start to color in some dead leaves and pines to really feel this retransferring of energy uh, from what was lost in the fall and the winter to what is going to renew in the spring. Draw some nice oak leaves. I want to create some orange pine needles. A lot of mess. A lot of mess that the fall brought. Oh, these pine needles. Feel the creation coming to life. And I'm making little tundras for the roots to kind of 
flow out, create that spring foundation. All right, I'm feeling vines. It's vine time. Vine time, vine time. Climbing up the trees, climbing up the trees. Vine time, vine time. Climbing up the trees, climbing up the trees. To words, moving on to words, intertwine. Oh, definitely we transferring. Let's do that. The colored pencils clanging together. The colored pencils making music. The words look like trees in the forest too. All right, great reveal. So we have Mama Tree there. That's me with some past vines in this beautiful symbiotic past and present weaving together, retransferring energy, shifting and intertwining. So something about the balance, ooh, I might need to add that word in too. The balance of integrating it all, the past with the present. So we can still have some vines climbing up the tree, but not invading it or choking it. And they can climb high into the sun Focal playing my spring cocoon. Here we go. <sighs> I could vocal play that all day. Timeless, meditative. I feel those vines. I hear those vines of the past and my boldness of the present and them come together mm, for springtime to retransfer energy, integrate, intertwine. Mm. Thanks for joining me on my spring cocoon journey and I'll see you next time. <laughs>